Welcome back to the morning show here on the Raj News. The weekend before Christmas, up until the weekend after New Year, is always party season with food left, right, and center. Mm -hmm. Now, from party jello fries, uh, mango jello fries, <laughs> to small chops, a little wonder, the scramble to lose weight and get fit in the beginning of the year is always a given. For well, joining us today to give strategies for coping with the overindulgence and late nights that are and inevitable but enjoyable as part of the festive season as well as how to meet our fitness goals in 2019 is Majay Aida, wellness coach and CEO of health and fitness brand Eden Lifestyle. Welcome to the Morning Show Magic. Great to have you. Merry Good Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone. Good morning, Magic. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, Thank for, you for joining me. us. So there are those who are already making New Year resolutions. There's a giving for them every year, but they, you know, they can't stop eating and drinking at this time that we're even speaking and into the new year. What advice do you have for these people? Because it's the same New Year resolutions every time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, we see it every year. Everyone is announcing their resolutions, what they're going to change. Mm -hmm. And sometime towards the end of January, it ends. It's all over for them. So, and everyone goes back to their normal lifestyles and routines. So honestly, from a, from a fitness and wellness perspective, we try to encourage small sustainable changes, mm. a more balanced lifestyle. So take, for example, this Christmas period. You don't generally stop exercising through it and you try to be more mindful in your approach to what you're eating. So we're not saying that you should cut things out. What most people try and do is they try to make dramatic changes. Okay. You know, they're like, right, I'm gonna stop eating rice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop eating bread. I'm gonna stop drinking soft drinks. Things that they absolutely love. So it, it and never lasts. And you can't lasts. escape the season. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you it's, can't, it's all around you. Every party you go to, I mean, I'm, I doubt you go to parties and you're going to the healthy option section. It's <laughs> not there. It's all pretty much unhealthy food that's getting served. So I think you just need to pay attention to things like uh, the amount of food that you eat, your portions, portion control, being mindful about when you're eating. You know, there's no sense in tucking into a huge feast at 11 o'clock at night and going to bed straight away. These are things that are damaging to you. So mm -hmm. um, my advice to people at home is to, you know, do your research, mm -hmm. all right? Go online, research how to make these small sustainable changes, things that will last and take you through the entire year, not just for January and February, you know? There are some people that take precautions. Some people like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would fast or like work out for a whole week yes. before the festive season mm. begin, just because I know that I'm going to binge it. Absolutely. So does that work? Does that help? I mean, um, it's, it's effective, but it's short term still. Mm. You know, I mean, what are you doing for the rest of the year? If you, if, if you could apply that mindset of the, that pre-week, if you could do that all year round, mm. that would be a whole different life for you, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? So a lot of people set targets for themselves. Oh, I have a wedding I need to go to, so I yeah. need to fit into that dress. Yes. So I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to fast and do intermittent yes. fasting for a while and stuff. And they'll lose the weight, but then it comes back with a vengeance afterwards. Oh, so <laughs> when you do that, it comes back oh, with a vengeance. Oh, absolutely, because you immediately stop. It's not a balance that, Yeah, it's thing. not balanced because oh. it's extreme, so you stop after that, and the weight comes back, you know, with friends. Oh dear. It's, 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 <laughs> this is how it works. So it's unfortunate, but you just got to try to be mindful generally mm. all year round, you know, and be realistic. So reduce things that you have. Let's say you're somebody that's addicted to soft drinks. Let's mm. say you can go through five, six a day. Yes, it's a terrible habit. Yes, it's something that you absolutely have to stop. But I think it's more sustainable to just cut it down, right down. So you actually discipline yourself. So, okay, you know what, I'm only going to have three a week, mm. let's say, because I know I have to have it. But if you try to stop it completely and you're not ready for that or your mindset isn't focused on that, you're going to pick it up again and probably even worse. And the way the body works, you know, it goes into starvation mode mm. when you start to do things like starve yourself. So you start storing food as fat. Okay. okay. Yeah, so that's why you actually end up putting on more weight, especially when you now eat. So when your body sees food, it's like, oh, my God, this Where is my first been? meal in a while. Where have you been? Let's store it up because we don't know when this guy is going to eat again. Mm. And you're going to store it up in the wrong places. So make sustainable changes. That's the way I see it. It's all what's going on in here, actually. It's your mindset. Mm. That's the key. You can read all the things you want to read, do all the research, listen to all the motivational tapes and videos you want to do, all right? Follow all the right people on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But if your mindset isn't right and you're not ready to apply these changes to yourself, you'll always stay in the same place. Okay. And the question yeah. is, are you happy?
That's oh, it. that leads me to my question. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from physical health and fitness, you're a proponent of mental health. Mm. Absolutely. Happiness during this season mm. tends to be what is expected, mm -hmm. but the reality is quite different. We Definitely. just talked about gifting. A lot of people in financial dire straits mm -hmm. feel inadequate because they were not able to provide the kind of Christmas they wanted. Christmas is a time of family and love. A lot of people are lonely. Yes. What, is, what is your advice for people struggling at this time? You know, you're absolutely right. This time of year exposes realities. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's very sad when you cannot give a gift at a time when it's been so hyper-commercialized now. It's all about, you know, smiling and happiness. And let's be frank, we're in a city and in a country that was struggling. All of us are struggling in some way or another. I mean, I just came home, I just left the house that I had no electricity. I've been burning diesel all night long on okay. Christmas. It's just ridiculous. But, you know, you've got to push back because you have to jealously guard your own mental space. And for me, one of the easiest ways to do that is through exercise. Exercise really focuses you and really starts to release your own internal happiness through the release of endorphins. You know, you get happier when you exercise. Anybody that exercises will tell you that. It's just a natural happiness that is generated. But I think that you need to, as an individual, be deliberate about it. You have to make the choice to be happy. It's not something you have, you wait and see what happens in the daytime and how my day is going to go before I decide how I'm going to be happy or not. You have to choose it, and you have to choose it daily. And you have to choose it, I think, through your own actions and things you do. Exercise is a great starting point. Most of us do not exercise. I see people on Instagram, fitness professionals, posting you know, videos of advanced workouts, but you're dealing with an environment where 80% of the people are not getting off their couches. So what are you going to do about that? You need to break it down. Very, very simple, basic exercises to get movement as part of your day. Hustling through Lagos is not exercise. Mm. That is not it. You've got to be deliberate. So, Happiness is very important, but you have to choose it. You have to choose it every day. Don't wait and see what the day does to you. Well, as simple as these exercises may even become, you, you still see people who say, why do I need to sweat it out? There are the options, options of diet, dieting. Mm -hmm. uh, the diet industry is cashing out a lot, and we cannot ignore that. People say, why do I need to sweat when there's mm -hmm. you know, a diet plan I can just follow and fall back right in shape? What do you mm -hmm. say to people like that? Um, heart health is very important. You know, and for me, if you're not doing enough cardio, we are designed as human beings to move. That's why when you exercise, you lose weight, you get stronger. And uh, as I always explain to people, it'll be such a shame to not know just how strong you could become. You know, and not just, you know, physically strong, mentally strong as well, you know. Um, and of course, your immune system as well. You know, a lot of people, especially in the, in, in the workplace in Nigeria, there's a lot of sickness. A lot of people get sick all the time, and I'm sure we all hear it. Oh, I'm feeling down today. Oh, I'm off today. Anyone who works in HR will tell you the kind of, you know, man hours are lost due to illness. So beyond just diet, exercise is so important. They go hand in hand. You can't really do one without the other. But just understand that as a human being, this is what you're designed for. You're designed to be energized, to be moving on a daily basis. So it's not just about going to the gym, but it's been about being active throughout your entire day. Mm -hmm. These are the things that help you not just physically, but mentally as well. So um, if you're at home and you don't think you need to sweat it out, you absolutely do. Try it for a week. Mm -hmm. Just try it for a week and see how you feel. Tell me that it doesn't affect you mentally. Okay. Tell me it doesn't make you a happier person, and I'll tell you that you're lying. Okay. So you have a counselling service, like you mentioned earlier. Yes, and actually we do. So, but then you've, all, you've just been saying everything depends on your mind. So how do we get our mind prepared to stay physically fit throughout the year? Or you know, um, how do we just stay engaged with... I think you need to get... You need to start to prioritise it and understand that this is something that saves your life. Okay, this is a survival game. We're trying to survive here in a country that is working against you physically, mentally, in every way. It's an attack on every sense that you have being here, existing here. So you have to push back. Look at it from a survival perspective. You need this. You need to start exercising immediately or down the line, your doctor will make you do it. And then it'll get more expensive because you'll be paying a lot of medical bills. Okay, so I'll leave you with one thought. Um, I know it's a bit depressing, but just look around you and tell me if you ever see any overweight old people. All of them. Think about it. Old people, overweight, 
There are not many. And there is a reason for that, because you're not meant to be overweight. That is just a fact. And the chances are you will end up passing early, unfortunately. But that is the reality. The life expectancy of the average Nigerian is way too low. And there's a reason for that. Our lifestyles, we need to change our lifestyles. We need to change the food we eat. And we need to change the way we look at exercise. Now, a really common measure that people do in January, everybody reaches for their detox. <laughs> From your professional standpoint, is this advisable? Is it too much of a shock to the system? Um, I think everything is with balance. I think it's okay to detox, you know, but I don't think it's something that you should try to do too often and too much of. How much, is, how much is too much? I think that if you come off the Christmas binge, I think you can detox for a week. That's about right. But if you try and detox for a whole month, then you start to affect your own energy levels and your own health. What you know, form should the weekly, like the week-long detox take? Um, you, can, you can start to eliminate key foods um, that you would normally, especially like things like, um, you know, carbs, you know, eliminate that from your diet if you want to, if you want to intermittently fast as well. Um, that's also a good idea. Google intermittent fasting, by the way, at home. Check that out. It's actually effective, but short term as well. So if you're going to detox, I would recommend doing that right after your New Year you know, celebrations. Mm -hmm. And that first week of January, you can detox during that week. You can do it for a few days. You can do it for a whole week. But I would not recommend extending it beyond that because, you know, you, you need your energy. You need your strength. So get back into it. Eat balanced meals. That's really what gives you energy. So after all of this uh, festive eating and all of that, and getting your mind, you know, back to mm -hmm. your resuming work, mm -hmm. it's Lagos traffic, it's yes. no light and all of that. What are the things I should be considering if I'm going to hit the gym? Or are mm -hmm. you saying, because you said it's not about hitting the gym, mm -hmm. are you saying I can do this on my own? And then um, what are those things I should consider mm -hmm. really? Okay, well, hopefully we'll get a chance to do a little demo. But, you know, um, in this environment, again, it's very much anti-fitness. There are no real running paths uh, on the roads, no running tracks, um, and gyms are hard to get to, and they're expensive. You know, it's not a sustainable business even running a gym in this country because things like traffic and all these things work against people. So what I recommend to people is to get familiar with body weight exercises, things you do at home. Yeah, you wake up in the morning, put in that workout. A lot of my friends are on it now. You know, there are apps on your phones, they go on YouTube, Google beginner, you know, home exercises, things you can do at home before you start your day. Get used to it because that is what will make the difference. I myself struggle to get to the gym. Come on, at 4 p.m., you know, I, I like to work out in the evenings, but the traffic is so much that I'm not going to make it. I run a facility, so I know how many people can make it and how many people get stuck in traffic on a daily basis. So it really works against you. Start doing things at home. Body weight exercises, it makes a huge difference. And, you can, and you're not going to tell the difference between someone that's just doing body weight exercises at home and somebody that goes to the gym regularly. Because you can use your furniture. You can use things. You can get a bottle of water, fill it up with sand, use that as dumbbells. Mm -hmm. You know, there are ways around it without spending too much money. Gravity is your gym. Mm. I want to go back to my mind questions. I'd like for you to give specifics. Like, yes. what do I really need to do in terms of getting my mind prepared? OK, um, mindset. First of all, um, I think you need to get connected to yourself. Self-care, self-awareness, understand yourself. Um, and I think that can come in the form of really telling yourself the truth about your strengths and weaknesses, what you're good at, what you're not good at. Um, I think a mindset of gratitude applied deliberately mm. is something that really helps. People go to church and they go and give thanks, but then they'll complain Monday to Saturday. Okay. That isn't real gratitude. Real gratitude is accepting and understanding where you are, this is your life, and making the best of what you have. You know, a lot of people want to do things, they want to start businesses, they set themselves goals that perhaps are just unattainable because there are goals that involve when I have this, when I have the money, when I have this. What about working with what you have right now? So uh, a mindset of gratitude is, is very helpful. And when, you, when you're like something like self-awareness, mm -hmm. um, I think it's important to seek counsel, not opinion. You know, a lot of people seek opinion from people who have no business giving them advice. You know, seek counsel. Seek counsel is like mentorship. It's like going to people that you aspire to. So not, so not necessarily professional. It doesn't have to be professional. But somebody, you know, I, there, there are people that I have a lot of respect for. 
mm -hmm. you know, and will go to and seek counsel with, you know, and maybe assistance, um, advice, whatever form it may be. But a lot of people will go to their, you know, to their girlfriends and discuss, you know, oh, no, I don't know what to do about this. And say, ah, no, you should leave him. You know, <laughs> you know that kind of thing. So I, I think it's, it's be, be very mindful about what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Goal setting is very important. You can't just wing it through life. Okay. You've got to have a plan, you know. So all these things are all taking place in your mental space, you know, because that's where everything starts and ends. Depression is something that is taking us up, tearing us apart. People are walking amongst us in deep states of depression, especially, as you pointed out, at this time of year. Mm -hmm. It gets very hard. And also, as the, you know, the beginning of the new year, you really start to get a real awareness of what you lack and what you don't have. And, and you know how it is now with social media and Instagram and everybody being perfect online. So all you're seeing all around you is everyone seems to have their, their mindset together, together yeah. you know everyone seems to be gathered and, and focused and doing things and I'm like oh my god what am I doing in my life mm -hmm. and this is where you start to spiral and start to just you know lose the plot a little bit so I think it's really important to guard your mindset and be deliberate about your thought process look at yourself your self-awareness take self-care into account self-care is not shopping <laughs> it's not buying things self-care is looking at the people that are around you, looking at your emotional diet, what you're taking in, the information that you're taking in, the people that you allow in your orbit to, you know, um, to guide you, Even if to influence you, you. It's short term, okay. honestly. If, you know, you can shop, it's, it's like a nice way to gloss things over, but if you're at home and you're still unhappy because you're unhappy about your weight or you're unhappy about how you look, Shopping is not going to fix that. Mm -hmm. You're going to glam up, but it's when you're alone in front of the mirror, are you happy? That's where it counts. So we have to all have a Zen state of mind to know that we can have a good body, right? <laughs> I think it's just, I think if a good body is your goal, then you need to change your goals. All right. I think you start internally, and everything that happens externally is just going to be an effect of those changes inside. Can you take us through your corporate counseling? I'm interested in that. How does that work? Okay, well, we run um, what we call an EAP program, which is an employee assistant program. So we would basically provide telephone counseling to corporates so that, um, you know, people, they will do what we call a health risk assessments, which is usually performed by an independent body within a corporate. So um, HR would hire an independent body to run a health risk assessment, and then we would now be told that the individuals within the company that are medium to high risk as far as mental health, physical health even. And we will now provide um, telephone counseling for people 24 hours a day. So you would, we run generally what we'll, would be a maybe five to six session model where you would have six phone calls, one hour long phone calls of counseling where you will speak to a professional counselor, but one who understands this environment. This, was, this used to be an international service, so you would speak to an international counsellor, but um, they don't understand us. They don't understand our plight. Mm. You know, you could sit there and complain to a professional counsellor that, you know, I, the, my traffic route is killing me. And they'll tell you, oh, why don't you just take a different route? Mm. No, you don't understand how this country <laughs> works, my friend. It's not like that, you know? So we need to, you need to speak to somebody. And, but what's most importantly is the confidentiality and the anonymity as well. And um, so we have to just make sure that these companies understand that this is a confidential service, but it is something that is necessary. Mental health is most prevalent in corporate Lagos, people in offices and stuff. I mean, I'm sorry to talk about this here on Christmas, I mean, on Boxing Day, but suicide rates are jumping up. I was going to ask, how well has this been received by corporate um, Lagos? Corporate Two years ago, a bit harder. But I think now, I don't think that depression is on the increase. I think that social media is getting us to see it more now. And people are now becoming more, you know, um, vocalized about it. People are talking about it more now and accepting it more. So a couple of years back, it was a hard sell. You know, even starting with the whole wellness campaign, you know, what's, what's wellness? You've got to break that down. And you're dealing with, you know, um, individuals and companies that you have to explain what a push-up is. You've got to explain what a squat is. That's where we are. It's still on a very, very basic level. Okay. But I think there is an acceptance now. I think people are, uh, it's, it's less of a stigma 
whereas it used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, mental health was something that you just, you know, no, 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 I don't know what that's all about, you know. I beg, you know, me and my pastor, we understand ourselves. <laughs> but now I think people are, are beginning to realize the dangers of it because of um, the visibility of suicide and the increase in suicide rates of people. It's, people are just, just need a way out in any way they can. And, and I think that if we start to look at our problems differently, start to think about our problems differently, then we will start to see a change. It's time now for Maji and I to get down with some aerobics, yes? Absolutely. Nothing too hard, right, I don't Maji? know why you I guys have... still call it aerobic. I just can't <laughs> deal with it. Anyway, what is it called? No, no, no. We're going to do some body weight exercises, okay? okay? Again, right. remember, guys, I told you this is stuff that you can do at home. Okay. All right? So just some basic moves. Um, start off with what we would do is um, get your pulse rate up. So we'll just start with some basic jumping jacks. All right? Okay. Have you done jumping jacks before? Uh, yes, I'll show you. of course. Just like this. Um, <laughs> okay, just one the, second. Go on, go on. Let's see. Wait, what do there I do go. with my hands? Yeah. I, I feel like that. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. Okay. Pick up the pace a little bit. Pick okay. up the pace a little bit. Yeah. Now get your hands all the way down to your down, sides and back again. Yeah. Okay. There you go. My Christmas tree there is fine, go. right? It's not going to fall stop. off. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. okay, that's one move. Start that, do that for like 30 seconds. Okay. And then break for 30 seconds, repeat three times. Then you move on to your next exercise. Another one we call high knees. All these things are great for cardio, okay? okay. High knees are basically, you start off like you're marching. So, okay. alternate, alternate arms and legs. Alternate, alternate okay. yeah. I, ha I don't have coordination. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> alternate, alternate. So if you lift your left leg, you lift your right arm. So lift my left leg. Yeah, okay, right this arm. is my left leg. Yeah. And then I lift left this. Left leg, right arm. Okay, great. Exactly. So alternate. Oh, there you go. Got it. There you go. All right, now you got that. Now take that into a little jog. There you go. Keep upright. Get those and knees up. And this we could do in our living room, Absolutely. Right? Do that yeah. for another 30 seconds and stop. Okay. All right, good. Now. Got to work on the lower body as well, okay. all right? So all these things are great for your heart, great cardio. If you're trying to lose weight, do that. And remember, it's about the intensity that you bring. So now you can bring in some squats. So feet shoulder width apart. Good. Facing forward. And you just squat down and up. And when I'm squatting, I'm just yes, there acting you go. like I'm about to sit down, right? There you go. The deeper the squats, the better it is for your glutes. If you don't know what your glutes are, Google. I can't say it on TV. <laughs> Okay, good. Now we're going to add a little knee lift to that, okay? So you squat down, lift your knee. Squat down, knee lift. Go. Get that knee up. Good. Alternate hand. Uh, I, I'm, yeah. I have no coordination. Coordinate. <laughs> coordinate. Don't okay. keep saying it. All right. If you keep saying it, you'll manifest it. So you do have coordination. There you go. Okay. There you go. And as always, you want to raise that intensity. So let's go a little Ooh. faster. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Faster, faster. Fast. Good. There you go. All about the intensity. Stop wow. there. Okay. All right, good. So you've done three exercises so far. Now we've got to work a little upper body strength. So we're going to get down on the floor. Okay. All right, so just when you want to get down, guys, just walk down like this. Okay, into a plank position. Okay. Good. Into a plank position. Now you drop your knees to the ground. Good. So this is a beginner variation of push ups, okay? Okay. And you're just down and up. Let's go. Come on, get down. Yes, you're already feeling that, right? Yes, it's, it's magic. very challenging. Now, if you're a bit stronger, okay, I'm you done. can get your knees off the ground and you can go <laughs> into full push-ups. And if you're even more advanced, you can do a push-up with a shoulder tap. All right, that's about Just like all. that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Real basic. Please, 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 get up. Okay. All right, so that's four moves that you can do every morning. 30 seconds each, repeat four times. Do that every day and it'll change your entire life. This workout I just showed you is actually on my Hit Squad page on Instagram. So go to H I I T Squad N G mm. on Instagram. I just posted this workout yesterday, actually. Well, I've run out of breath. I can't <laughs> even breathe. That was amazing. But you see how easy it is yeah. to challenge yourself, right? It looks easy, but it's not. It's not. And when yeah. you want to recover, breathing is very important yeah. as well. Like right now, struggling to breathe a little I am bit, right? Struggling so to in breathe. through your nose, exhale out of your mouth. Wow. Imagine you're trying to blow out a candle in front of you, okay? Okay. Deep breaths. It helps you recover much quicker. So how many minutes do we do this every day? Well, if you do this every day or you could do it every other day, yeah. you're talking about 10, 15 minutes of your morning. Okay. You get out of bed, get on the floor, mm -hmm. do what I just showed you, all right? Go on my Instagram page, check it out, and repeat and repeat. Do that four times. So four rounds of that, okay. 30 seconds each. Each move for 30 seconds, you break for 30 seconds, okay? And between each round, you break for 60 seconds. So just recover, then you go again. Okay. 10, 15 minutes of your morning. That is it. Do that regularly. 
It'll change who you are, I promise. Okay, I will. I hope everyone has learned from Maje. Um, Maje thank you so much for joining us. And um, My pleasure. it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you.